Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full tour of my Notion Finance Tracker, the exact system I've been using to manage my money for over a year. This planner helps you track your income and expenses, set savings goals, manage subscriptions, and plan your monthly budget all in one place. I'll walk you through how everything works, show you how it's organized, and how you can start using it to stay on top of your finances and feel more confident with your money. Okay, so let's start with the main dashboard. Everything you need is neatly organized here, and I'll go through everything. I've added quick action buttons, so it's very easy to add income, expenses, anything new here. This is where you're going to add your bank accounts and saving goals. They are filtered with only personal accounts, so this is like checking, savings, any credit cards or investments. And then your saving goals. You can add a bunch, basically this is your wish list. There's also quick links for easy navigation here. So this is your income chart. It's filtered by the year. Um, everything is divided into all of the categories that you have, so you can add as many as you want for this. Once you add your income, it's automatically going to show up in the chart. These are previews of last month, this month, and this year. You'll see your total income, total expenses, and your profit. This is super helpful, so it can give you kind of an idea of how much you're spending and how much you're actually profiting as well from your income. Then you have financial goals and reminders. For example, you can write down your savings goal like $500 a month, or you have a goal to invest 30% of your paycheck. And then this is where you're going to see your income and expenses. Because it's May 1st, there's nothing here because I haven't input anything for May yet, so it's basically empty. But when you go to monthly, you'll see all your monthly incomes that you inputted. And same for the expenses. And this is your monthly budget. This budgeting section is only filtered to show the current month that you're in. On the first day of every month, it resets back to 0%. And this is where you can keep track of all your subscriptions. You can even include like fixed expenses. Now I'm just going to go through each section and show you how to add your entries. So first we're going to start off with income. We're going to click new income. Let's say today is May 1st, so it automatically adds the date for you. So it's May. You just search up the month and you click the make sure you click on the proper year then my income amount let's just say it's two thousand dollars for income stores you can add as many as you'd like just by simply typing in let's say gift for example and click enter and it's automatically going to be right here so i'm just going to say that's my salary and this is the bank account that your income is going into so all my income goes into my checkings account so I'm just going to click on checkings and that income automatically adds to my checkings account here you'll see the balance will go up and then this income chart automatically added the month of May because it's a new month and then if you go down to this month you'll see I put two thousand dollars income you also see it in your income chart here so right under that is your new expense button this is where you log all your spending so let's do an example i ordered some clothes we'll do may 1st again make sure you add the month so it calculates it into your previews and charts on your dashboard let's say i spent 130 dollars on clothes then you're going to click on the bank account that you paid this expense on for example, I pay with my credit card, so I'm going to click on credit card and what budget this goes into. So there's a bunch of categories here. You can add your own as well. So I'm just going to click on clothes because this is a part of my clothing budget. So you'll also notice in credit card how the balance went up and we'll pay for that later with the pay bill button. You'll see in this month, your total expenses is $130 which was for the clothes you'll also see in your expense chart and then you'll see your total profit as well then when you go down to your monthly budget you'll see that i set my budget for 50 dollars 
but I spent $130 which shows that I spent $80 over my budget. So this really helps just kind of visualize everything. Next we're going to add a new subscription. Amazon Prime. My renewal date will do the 30th. The cost, I have no idea how much it costs, I'm just going to say it's $15. For the billing, you'll click monthly, yearly, maybe it's paused or canceled. Let's just say monthly because it's a monthly payment. Then here it's going to automatically calculate the yearly cost. Um, you don't have to touch any of this. This is automatically going to calculate as you add your expenses for the subscription. Then you're going to add from the bank account. It's going to be coming out of credit card. So for every subscription you add, you will need to include it as an expense so actually i'll show you how to do that right now you're gonna go to your expenses we'll do the same thing let's just write amazon prime um it was 15 dollars the bank account it's gonna come out of my credit card um you can keep this blank unless you are budgeting your subscriptions which is also an option here so i'll include that and then this is where you have to remember for every subscription, you will see this add subscription button. So you're going to click add subscription. And because we just, we just created a new subscription for Amazon Prime, you're just going to click on that. And that's all. So that will calculate into this month's expenses. And then when you click on Amazon Prime, your subscription, it'll say you spent $15 already. As you keep adding your subscription expense, it's going to keep adding up how much total you spent this year so far. Now we're going to add a new bank account. So this will be adding a new bank account like a credit card and also this includes a savings account as well or a savings goal. So click new bank account. Um, so if you wanted to add a new credit card, you can write like this is your Visa credit card. Um, if you want to add a new savings goal, let's say I'm saving for a new iPhone. So you're going to click here what type of account this is. This is a savings goal. You can write a start amount if you already have a certain amount saved in your bank account that you want to just add here. I'm going to keep it blank because I'm starting from zero. And then my goal amount for an iPhone, they are very expensive nowadays, let's say it's $1,000. So if you go to your savings goal, you'll, you'll see it right here. You can also add any icon. Let me see if they have a phone. Perfect. They have a smartphone. You can add a cover. Let's see, iPhone. Is there any, this is cute. And you can reposition. I like how that looks. And there you go. And you have your phone savings goal. And then we're going to go into adding a new budget. I already have this budget, but I'm just going to write beauty. All you have to do here is write a budget amount. So let's just say $60. I don't want to spend more than $60. That's it. You'll go down to your budget. And you can see it here. And then also you can add like an, a little icon. Let's see, is there any makeup? Let's make a brush. So cute. Perfect. And that'll be there. And then we're going to go back. We're going to do transfer funds. This is when you want to transfer, let's say, money from your checkings account to your savings account because you're trying to reach your goal. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to transfer funds. You can keep the name here, the amount I want to transfer. Every month, I've been transferring $200. So this is going to be from, from what account? I'm going to transfer it from my checkings account to my savings account. And you keep everything the same. Transaction date automatically adds. And that's it. Then add $200, add it to here. And then if you want to see any records, everything is here. So if you go to transfers and bill payments, 
You'll see your transfer funds $200 on May 1st from your checkings to your savings. And the last thing is pay a bill. So we're going to pay off our $225 on our credit card. So you're gonna click pay bill, $225. The money is gonna come from my checkings account because that's where all my income goes into. So I'm gonna pay off my expenses from there and I'm paying off my credit card. And that's it. You just exit that screen and your balance is zero dollars and the expenses came out of your checkings obviously this went down from the ten thousand that it was but i'll quickly go through the navigation so if you go into your income it's going to show this is going to filter by the year so 2025 it shows all of the income and then this is filtered into your salary filtered into only the side hustle and you can add another one if you add more income sources and then just click filter. Then you filter it by the specific one that you want. Then if you go expenses, it's the same thing. It shows all your expenses. Budget spending, this shows only for this month. So it's just a quicker kind of review if this is easier, if you want to see all the expense pages that are in each category or in each budget. Then bank accounts, it'll show all of the income pages and all of the expense pages that you added to it, as well as your subscriptions. Okay. It's basically all previews, um, a monthly overview. So this is, this goes by the year. But you can see every single month you'll be able to view your total income expenses and your profit um yearly overview this is just the whole year combined so this is just an easy way to kind of look at past years and kind of compare it to the progress you're making all-time overview and this is just going to show all time everything you've ever added into this finance tracker and I already showed you transfers and bill payments, and these are also divided into the filtered section, so it's just easier to view. And that's about it. So that's the full tour of my Notion Finance Planner. I hope it gave you a better idea of how you can, I hope it gave you a better idea of how you can use it to simplify your money routine and actually stay on top of your finances. If you want to start using this template, the link is in the description below. It's in my Etsy shop and it comes with a quick guide to help you get started as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. You can also reach out to me on Instagram DM. My username is at balancedplan. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.